All right. In today's episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, timesheets. Now, over the last month, I've been looking at all different types of timesheets from different companies. I'm trying to find something to bring into my company, something that's easy to use so the boys will actually log on and log off. Also, I wanted something cost effective because they can get quite expensive. So yeah, I, I downloaded a bunch of them, did trials on a bunch of them, and I've sort of found one that looks pretty cost effective and seems fairly easy to use as well. Now, if you're working by yourself, this probably isn't the video for you. This is more aimed at the guys and girls that have like a team, even if it's a small team of one or two people, and maybe multiple job locations as well. So this is gonna help you track who worked where for how many hours. Anyway, let's jump back into the office and we'll take a look. guys so deputy is the software that we have picked after trialing a whole bunch of them deputy came in at one of the cheapest and one of the easiest to use so that's the main reason why we went with them now let's just do a quick overview of what exactly deputy is it's a timesheet and scheduling software slash app it's all cloud-based, so you can access it off any device. If you have multiple guys working for you, you get them all to download the app, and through their app, they can request leave, log sick days, and then from that, you can do your payroll because it integrates directly with Zero. You can also set up your schedule, so the guys can just jump on to see where they're working, what days, and what hours are required of them. You can set up different jobs in different locations, and it can pretty much all be done from their phone. So what you do is you get your crew to all download the app, make sure it's the red deputy app, not the blue one. From there, they can clock in, they can clock out, they can see their schedule for the week, they can see where the jobs are, where you're sending them, how many hours are on it. They can start their shift, start their break, and end their shift all with the touch of one button. They can also request holidays and track their sick days. Now, why would you need an app like this? Well, like I was saying earlier, if it's just you, you probably don't need it. However, if you've got a crew, even if it's a small crew, it can get tricky keeping track of who worked where and when. So this just makes it easy. Now, this also has a GPS function in it, so you can make sure your staff are on site when they log in, they're on site when they leave. It can be a little bit stalkerish, but I mean, you need to know where your guys are. Now, if you want accurate hours, so you make sure you're paying your staff the right amount of money, this software makes it super easy. And you can also take yourself out of the process. What I mean by that is if somebody requests time off for a holiday, normally what they would do is call or message me. Then I would generally tell my wife. Then my wife would generally tell our bookkeeper and then the bookkeeper tells the accounting software but with this your employee can just log into the app request their holiday that goes to you and then you would approve it with the click of a button and then it goes directly to your accounting software now this will cut multiple people out of this process all right so how much for something like this now this type of software can get really expensive some of them were up to 40 dollars a month per user and then if you got four or five guys you're talking a couple hundred bucks a month just for timesheets that was way too much for me. Now this one, it's broken into two parts. You've got your scheduling and you've got your timesheets. If you just wanna use the timesheets functionality, you can get that for $3 a month per user. And it's the same for the scheduling, $3 a month per user. And if you wanna use both of those functions within this app, then it is $5 a month per user. All right, so let's set it up. Now, be warned. I've only been using this for like a week, so I may be doing a few things wrong, but I think we've got the gist of it now. So let's dive into the computer. I'll show you guys how I set it up, show you how to add locations, add different jobs, and, um, and yeah, you can see if it's right for you. All right, so you've got to set up an account with Deputy. 
I'm gonna assume you guys can figure that one out on your own. Done that, you wanna go ahead and log in, set up your company. All right, so here we are. I got my own profile set up, so I also record my own hours that I'm on site too. But anyway, so this is the dashboard. You've got your news feed. This is where you can type a message to your crew directly and it pops up just sort of like a WhatsApp type thing. The next tab is the tasks. Now you can set tasks for each day, assign them to different employees and they can go through and tick them off as they get through their day. Now locations, this is where you will create all your different job sites. The next tab over is people. Now this is where you would add all your employees. I've even got some subcontractors set up in here. This is where you can add their hourly rate, whether they're full time, part time. This is all their personal information and this is how you would add new people to the team as well top right corner click on add people this tab right here is your schedule this is where you've got the list of your team all your locations and who's working where and on what days second last one is the timesheets so once your crew has finished their day you or your manager or someone working admin needs to go through check what they've said and if you're happy with that then you just approve it so let's look at a real basic sort of setup let's go to locations let's go to locations let's add a new location so you just hit the blue button just here location name this is where i would put my client's name so um debbie and john yep okay now the location address is uh, 132 Smith Street, um, you know, wherever. This location's week starts on a Monday, yes. And you would hit next. Now this is where you would add the areas of this actual location. So you may have a job site that also has an office and then you've got the site. This is where you would put the office space and then the actual construction site. But ours is just like a residential home, so we don't really need that. This is where you would add the people, so which people are working on this job site. Okay, and then add location. And then hit add location, and it's just setting it up now. Okay, so there you see Debbie and John's place at 132 Street, Wollongong. That's made up by the way, they're not real people. So now we've got the location set up, we can go to the schedule, all right, and then in the top left-hand corner here, you would select your location. So we wanna select Debbie and John's place. So here we go. I'm the only person that's been added to Debbie and John's place at this point. To the left is where we can add a new team member or, you know, it can just be my job. So this is to plan out for the upcoming week. So all you gotta do is click on my name, drag, and it will allocate me to each day. Now, once you have me on Monday, all you gotta do is press C and then click on the day and press V and it basically just copies and pastes it. Same location, same hours and all of that. Now that's my week. Now up in the top right hand corner is where you publish your eight shifts. Okay, so now we will publish our shifts. You can publish updates only, so it's not um, notifying all the staff when you've just made a little change. This is where you can select your type of notification. It will send an email and it will push through to your smartphone. So you hit publish, and now I will get a notification saying that that's where I'm working for the week. All right, and that is it for me, guys. Really hope you found this a little bit useful. If you are growing a team, this is a really good way of keeping track of the hours and keeping track of the money that you're spending on a job. If you do have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.